All right, some context. I'm a dad of two, husband of one, a digital ad man for my nine to five, and a content creator here on YouTube. I'm also a Christian. I have a lot of good friends. So I have a lot of aspects to my life, a lot of priorities in my life, and keeping up with all of them just in my head is one impossible. In a notebook is also kind of impossible for me, to be honest. I've talked about this before on the channel, but I have sort of broken down my life into five priorities in this order, faith, family, social, work, personal. It's hard to keep all those upright and I naturally become selfish and that list gets flipped on its head when I'm not in a good space. And one of the best ways I've found to keep that list right side up and my priorities in check in life is to go by this sort of theories and philosophy of a book called Do More Better by Tim Challies. I'll leave a link to it in the description down below, short read, but I still follow those ways of keeping up with tasks and calendars and information that comes in day to day. Now, I've talked about this tool on the channel before, but the best way I have personally found to keep up with all of these aspects of my life and keep my priorities in check is through the app Sunsama. I've been a big fan of Sunsama ever since I started using it. I use it daily. I have tried to use other planners, tried to use Ugmunk cards, which are all good and well in their place for specific reasons and maybe for you even, but for me, this has been the only true way I have found that it's possible to keep up with everything in my life. Now, what I wanna to do today is just kind of show you my updated way that I run through Sunsama to get all of my planning done. So more than anything, this is just gonna be a walkthrough video. If you all would like to learn more about how I use Sunsama or the keyboard shortcuts I use or how I use some of the other tools like focus mode today, focus and stuff like that, I totally can. But I wanted to give an updated version of this and I wanna give a special shout out to Sunsama. They've been an incredible partner for me here on the channel. Ever since I published the first video, you all and whoever's watched that video has signed up for Sunsama and used it and really enjoyed it. And so I thought it was time to update that video and do sort of my 2025 rundown of how I use this daily. Now today is actually Monday. So I have already done all of this, which is good because it'll be fresh in my mind. But before we dive in, on this channel, we review tech that marries form and function. We love tech that both improves our lives and looks great while doing so. This is a piece of software that does that. So if that sounds cool to you, please consider subscribing and like this video for more. And at any time during this video, if you'd like to try out Sunsama for yourself, there will be a link in the description and the first line of the comments. You will get a free 30 day trial of Sunsama. The normal trial is 14 days. So you get an extra half a month to try and see if this really fits into your lifestyle. It's funny. I'm pretty sure Ben here who works on the channel, Hunter who works on the channel, and Mike who's in the office with us here have all gotten trial periods to try this out and are trying it even currently. So we're very excited. I'm excited to have some friends using this software. But anyway, without further ado, let's dive into how I use Sunsama quickly on a Monday to sort of run through and get everything I need planned and scheduled. So when you log in on a Monday morning, for instance, you will be met with this weekly review, which again, I've already done, which is great. Basically, it shows what your key objectives for the week were from last week, which basically Sunsama is more of like a short-term approach to tasks. You're not gonna have like monthly, quarterly, yearly, 10-year planning through this system, but when you finally do break those down into actionable steps, this is the place for them. So they have weekly objectives, which are, this is what I need to get done this week. And this is like, you know, if I need to publish a video, if I need to finish my April campaign builds for my nine to five job, that kind of thing, where you're like, I'm not really sure what day I'm gonna do it, but I know it gets needs to get done this week. So you put your weekly objectives objectives in here, you review the previous week, what got done, what didn't. And you can see here, I didn't post the video for the lawnmower, which needs to get done this week and filming two episodes of the new podcast needs to get done this week as well. So it's a review. So then you can hit the next button and see what all got done on what days. I had a conference that I was at on Wednesday and Thursday, so there's not a lot on there as you can see here. And then Friday, I didn't actually use Sunsama. I was like, so behind on a bunch of things, I like came right into work and just started working and I didn't use it, which is always a problem. Like I have found every time, every day that I don't use Sunsama, 
I like don't do the right things, but I always think like, I don't need it today. Like I'll just dive into work and it never fully turns out right. I don't end the day feeling accomplished, if that makes sense. But what's cool is I have broken down my work into these various sections. So you can see last week, since I was at a conference, my nine to five job and my work section were probably a little bit lower than they would usually be. YouTube stuff got done, which is great. And then you can see, you know, I called my pastor, Pete, that's on there. I did some stuff for my family, put some laundry away. And then personal, what was personal? Oh, I do some like, you know, morning quiet time check-ins. So you can see how that was broken down last week. You could come over here and do like a previous week and see how that was broken down. So it kind of, you know, it varies week to week, of course. So let's go to next week, which that was that week. All right, and you can kind of just see how your week was, which is nice. I, I love seeing this little chart, seeing where I was most productive, seeing where I took days off where I shouldn't have, meaning I slacked a little bit. Then you hit next and you have your weekly review. Some new stuff that Sansama has added are some AI features that are like really well done, which I don't know if we'll get into today. We might, but it's pretty cool what they've done here. But Basically, if you're reporting to someone, you can basically like send this to them. You can just have this for your own records. Maybe you keep a little journal where you copy and paste this stuff. You can say like, I also did like, you can add sort of your own notes here, but it sort of gives you a little rundown of everything you were able to do, things you weren't able to do. And then like, like I said, you can post it to Slack or Teams. So if you're working for someone, this can be a great tool for Teams just for accountability or micromanagement, depending on how you want to look at it. You hit wrap up, which then you will go into your weekly planning. Like I said, I've already done this, so it took me back to the home screen, but basically you can look at your weekly objectives from last week. You can pull them over to this week if you need to, which I think I've already done. Yeah, they're down here. And then you can set up your new ones for the week. So I could say, you know, call mom needs to go on here and then I can go like family and there we go. So now I have call mom, I need to call her at some point this week. So I have all the stuff that I need to do this week, which I mentioned earlier, I've got faith, social, family, work, personal, because I sort of do YouTube on the side and then I have my nine to five job, I have work, which would be like check emails, which would be across my nine to five job and YouTube. And then I actually have a subset, which is between my nine to five and YouTube, sort of broken out in that way too. That's like a huge tip for anyone using Sansama, create those sort of life priorities. Again, read Do More Better by Tim Challies to sort of figure out what those are for you personally. And then you can really sort of understand where you're spending your time. And maybe you're like, wow, I didn't do really do anything for the family last week. Let's do more of that this week. You can visually see that on the graph, which is nice. And again, here's what I have planned for the week. You can share that out. You can put it in your journal, whatever you want to do, you know, post it to your boss. And then you hit done. Then it will bring you into your daily planning. Now, daily planning, today, weekly objectives. You can have that alongside of today to see, you know, what could I work on that I need to get done this week. You can come over here to see your linked calendar for today. You could come to your email, which I have this connected, but I don't really use it in that way, which if you read two more better, I, sorry that I keep talking about that book, but it, it is such a baseline for everything that I do you'll understand if you read it. Backlog and archive, if you, as you can see here, if you don't do a task for four days in a row and it keeps getting carried over automatically, it just will say like, hey, maybe this isn't that important. It'll throw in the archive. You can go pull it out of the archive, but it's actually come in handy a few times where when it gets thrown in there, you really think like, am I really gonna do that? Or is there someone else who's could do that better, I could pass it off to, or like, was that silly or whatever? And I kind of like that feature actually kind of just gives you a second look at a task that you might be dragging your feet on or something. So you can figure out why. But usually I will do things, I'll just hop back and forth between my objectives to see what should I work on today to get towards those objectives for the week. And then I'll also look at my calendar here and be like, okay, well I have this meeting, I have this lunch, blah, 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 that kind of thing. So you can really sort of plan out your task. It's, it's super easy to make a task, you just hit A. Then you could say, call mom, we'll use that as my example. Again, that is family. You can tie it to, if I hit the you know dollar sign here, call mom is part of my call mom for the week objective. I can tie it to the objective. And then I can say, you know, that's usually, we usually talk for about 15 minutes. So hit enter, it slaps it on here. It knows that it takes about 15 minutes. So this is like a place where you quickly just write down all the tasks that you would like to get done today. And you can fill in your calendar events. Basically it pulls your calendar events into your tasks. I don't usually do 
that, but I will do it the opposite way, which if I hit next, you'll see, you know, it'll show you like your workload for today. And if you can handle it or not based on the amount of time you have, and then it'll encourage you, you know, if you don't have enough time to drag some over to tomorrow or maybe even push it to next week, which that's a nice feature. Like if you see that you have eight hours of work planned for the day, you might wanna move some of that to the next day because you do have lunch, you have meetings and things like that you have to work around. It also shows you your earliest shutdown time. So if I were to do everything that I have planned today, then I would shut down at 6.45, which is not a thing that I do. I usually try to go hang out with my kids around five, so there's that. You hit next, and this is the place where you finalize and where I usually take the time. It shows your calendar. You can come over here and hover over events. You can drag them over and place them on your calendar in certain places. Or my favorite thing to do is if I don't really have a plan in mind already of like when I want to do things, you can just hover over a task and hit X and it will slap it on your calendar sort of with the next available time. So you can see it didn't put it at two because it's currently three. So it put it there after say one of your to do's is to do a project that takes three hours. If you don't have a full three hour time slot, maybe you have an hour before and two hours after lunch, it will break that task up to fit around your lunch meeting or whatever it might be, which is super cool. So AI figures that out for you and you'll find throughout the day too, like if I come here and say that I did the unboxing already, it will move tasks up basically. What it's trying to do is get you to get all your tasks done as soon as possible in the day. So you can either squeeze in more or just kick back and relax the rest of the day. So it's sort of smart in that way. And again, like I can like move these around. I don't have to do it. I can make them longer. I could put that at, you know, 4 p.m., whatever works best there. So all of this looks good and I'll say looks good. And again, here's your plan for the day. It even breaks it down and how long you think it'll be, which is super nice as well. It will estimate times for you based on past history of tasks, but you can also set those times, which I would have highly recommend you think through like, okay, for me to answer emails, I should take 15 minutes to do that. It just really helps when you actually dive into your actual workload for the day to really knock stuff out and have a really realistic view of how long things are gonna take you, which I think is nice. And it's pretty good at guessing too. Like usually this type of YouTube video to sit down and actually film it takes me about 30 minutes and it's realized that over time. So whenever I say like film, X video, it will, it'll suggest 30 minutes automatically, which I think is pretty cool. Which before, when I was first starting to put stuff into Sunsama, it was like, oh, film a video, that's gonna take two hours, but it's learned over time, which I think is fantastic. Again, you can post this wherever you want. You can add obstacles in my way, which I never do, but that's a pretty cool thing, especially if you're sharing it with a team. Someone might hop in and be like, oh, I can do that to get that obstacle out of your way. Say get started and it takes you, I think it usually takes you to your today view. My favorite view is the home view because as I'm going along doing things throughout the day, I can see my calendar over here. You can obviously change this. I could swap these so my calendar is here and my tasks, my tasks are on the right side over here. But as I'm going along, I can see like, oh, I need to get my taxes tomorrow and I actually have time today if I do this, this, and this. So I like seeing this sort of like weekly view at a glance here. And as you go, you know, you just kind of check these off. Let's say that I did, I filmed those clips. So I can come through here and it'll put a little check mark when you checked them off. I actually did that earlier, but if you really wanna stay on top of things and know when things got done, it's a good idea to do that. And then when you finish the task, it throws it down here at the bottom, as you can see. So only your left to do tasks are at the top. So at the end of the day, you have a daily shutdown. You can see what you worked on, what you didn't get to. You do have this little graph here of the breakdown between things. You can see the total time it took you to get things done versus time planned. You can hit the next button and it will do this AI summary, which I shouldn't be doing this yet because it's not the end of the day, but it will show you all this kind of stuff. Other activities are here. Again, this is one of those things where like the more information you put into it, the more it will be able to pull. But I think what's cool is it will tell you stuff like this one is isn't that much actually. What's really cool is like, if you do connect your email, it will be like, oh, I sent emails about that new proposal. Like it'll give an AI summary of like the emails you did, the type of work you did. If you have like a task with subtasks, it'll tell you what you got done with that and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. Again, this just kind of saves how it is. You'll also get an email sent to you with your day as well summarized, which is cool. You can see how it will look to others if you publish it, like I said, to a board or something. I don't 
love the idea of micromanaging, but if you work somewhere where accountability is huge, these are actually really cool tools. Or if you work with a team and people need to know actually like what you worked on, because that will set up their day tomorrow or something. The fact this is all baked in is really nice. And then you can come to this daily highlights section, which is basically all of the highlights, all of those AI summaried highlights over the past however long you want to go, which is pretty cool. And you can edit all this to be more customized if you need to, but that's basically it. At the end of the day, you do this, you hit publish, and then it gives you this ni nice little message that says like, you're done for the day. It's just like a splash white screen so that you're not like enticed to go do more, which is nice. And then, you know, tomorrow I'll hop in and because I've already planned the week, I just go right into daily planning, which will help me to look back again at yesterday, see what I got done. And it's just nice to, you know, depending on what you do in the morning before you dive into work work, this is that sort of segue step to really kind of get you in the mode, get everything planned out really well. I love Sansama. I can't say it enough. I think it's $20 a month. So just laying that out there, which is pretty expensive, to be honest. I pay annually because I don't know, this is like an invaluable tool to me and it works so well. And I've heard from others that it works so well too. But yeah, if you feel me raving about it, it's because I really do love it. I really do use it and take that as you will. Again, try it for yourself, 30 days free at the link down below. I hope you will use it and enjoy it as much as I have. It has honestly helped me so much not to forget things in my life, to have a, an accurate idea of how long things are gonna take me and just really get you set up each day for success. Thanks so much for watching. Again, thanks to Sansama for being such a great partner on the channel. You will probably see more about Sansama around our various outlets here because we do love working with them and we love their tool. But that's gonna do it. Let me know if you'd like to learn more about how I do things in Sansama. Again, a link is down in the description to check it out for yourself and a link for Do More Better by Tim Challies if you'd like to check that out. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please consider subscribing, like this video for more, watch this video next. I think you're gonna love it. And we'll see you all in the next one.